Hi, my name's Ed. Welcome to Ed Explains English. Learning English through stories. Have a butcher's at this photo, Ed. Do you know any of the people standing in front of the apple and pears? Of course I do, Judy. The man in the whistle was my grandfather and the woman next to him was my grandmother. Yes, I thought I would have recognised their boats. I've seen them in other photos. It's probably because of the way they were dressed up. My grandfather was as bald as a coot, but he was wearing a syrup for this photo. I don't know why. They were probably going to a fancy dress party. Even though it's a black and white photo, I can see that his trouble and strife, your grandmother, had beautiful mince pies. Yes, they were deep blue. Do you recognise those dustbin lids sitting in front of them? I guess they must be your father, Ed Senior, and his skin and blister, Mary. He looks a bit Tom and Dick. He told me he had eaten a big Ruby Murray before the photo was taken, so he was in a right to an eight. Yes, he looks like he was. Your auntie looks older, but otherwise the same. I think she's still got that weasel and stoat she's wearing, and this photo is nearly 50 years old. Happy days. Not always. I remember it was Tatus in their house. His best china stand was a tea leaf, and often came round to duck and die from the police. He used to wear a tit fur to try and disguise himself. Did that work? Not really. The coppers could recognise his plates of meat from 100 metres. He wore size 15 shoes. He had a very distinctive north and south too. Anyway, when the coast was clear, my granddad and Stan would take a ball and chalk down to the rubber dub. Leaving your grandmother on her tod with the kids, what did Stan use to half inch? Teapots. Teapots? You're having a giraffe, aren't you? He was a tea leaf who stole teapots. I think I've heard it all now. Yes, it's all a bit girt and daisy when you think about it. Talking of teapots, we could do with a nice cup of Rosie Lee. I suppose you want something to eat too. Yes, please, Judy. This nostalgia has made me Hank Marvin. We would like to thank you for watching this video. Visit Instagram where you can find complimentary vocabulary for this and our other videos. Please like, comment and share this video with your friends as well as subscribing. Thanks for watching. Toodle pip!